Hey friends, Justin here with a review of the 2020 Netflix documentary, The Alpinist. Um, it is a semi-autobiographical tale of the solo alpine climber, Mark andre Leclerc, as he allows a film crew to come along as he scales, without ropes, uh, some of the highest, uh, most frozen uh, peaks in this world. Um, he comes from Squamish, British Columbia, and um, you know there's a hiking community, uh, you know, a couple of hours north of Vancouver. And it was like watching a community in the '70s, you know, in the '80s. Um, really, really cool hippie, you know, type community. Some place I'd love to to go and, and visit in the summer. Um, but there are a community of climbers, folks that are just living on the absolute edge. And I've got to tell you guys, I have never been more thrilled. I have never been on the edge of my seat more than watching this Netflix documentary, The Alpinist. And I want you guys to give it a chance. It is perspective changing. You know, I started watching it and I says, I'm going to turn this off because it, this is so silly. It's so stupid to put your life at risk for the thrill of climbing a, a mountain. And while it's, it's not something that I would ever do, to watch people, to watch a community um, of people that are actually living on the edge, kind of living to their fullest and highest potential, was absolutely breathtaking. And you, you've, you've got to see it to see what I, I mean. Um, Mark Andre Leclerc grew up a little bit differently. He's got uh, ADD, ADHD, and just didn't do well in a traditional. Uh, educational environment and and you know as his mom says he was he was never gonna have a, a nine to five he found this passion for climbing unaided without ropes and without a safety net at, at a very young age and you watch him scale some of the highest frozen peaks sometimes just clawing against sheer ice and and uh, ice that's hanging down off of mountains that's not even attached to anything. When I tell you guys, I screamed. <laughs> you know, I was on the edge of my, my seat watching this. Um, all of my senses were alert and, and triggered by just observing uh, Mark andre Leclerc. Um, he is a, a reluctant hero, as the, the title uh, describes the, the film. He often disappeared from the filmmakers, you know, without a word. Um, and, you know, he would say that, you know, he's a solo climber. He doesn't do it for records. He doesn't do it for accolades. It's about the thrill of being by oneself. Um, the, the perfect peace that can be achieved and that he found, you know, being a person with ADD, uh, with his full attention on the mountain, the, you know, as you go along the documentary, one of the guys says, you know, if the, the risk of death wasn't there, we wouldn't climb. And, um, you know, my, my, uh, I, I've just never been so thrilled as, as watching a, a documentary. He goes from one mountain, you know, from one height to the other, you know, shocking and thrilling the rest of the community, uh, doing things that no one ever dreams of doing. He, he climbs a mountain in Argentina in the frigid winter and, and blizzard conditions, and without rope, and he uh, bivies on the sides of these mountains, and it's absolutely incredible. He'll find just the, the most narrow ice shelf and put his sleeping bag out, no tent, put his sleeping bag out 
and put a, a pick in the side of the mountain and sleep there for the night and then continue on the next day and find another even sometimes even more narrow ice shelf and sleep on his side and 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 bivy there for the the night um and it's absolutely thrilling you know um i, I know i keep saying that word over and over again but you know the words i i kept thinking the the statement uh, the man the myth the legend it, it pales in comparison to the folks that are alpinists and especially the the legend that is that is mark andre leclerc i made a mistake while watching it and, and um, started googling the people that were on the show um started looking up their names and one by one, you know, it would say, you know, born 1962, died 1993. Born 1986, died, you know, 2005. On and on and on, these, these folks that were on screen, absolutely living on the edge, had given themselves up to the mountains. And this documentary was about a young man coming into that lifestyle who revered these, these men, these pioneers, uh, these conquerors that um, weren't going to let the mountain conquer them, you know, no, no matter what the risk, um, the thrill, the, the, you know, sheer excitement and the fulfillment that they got, you know, from, from climbing. You know, he was a, a student and a fan of that, and he was determined to uh, exceed all of these these goals. And he would run away from the filmmakers. This documentary took several years to complete um, because he had no interest in fame and in being in front of the camera. And so you're actually watching someone who's interested in living on the edge. You know, it's it's genuine and it's sincere this man is not a movie star and, and has no uh desire but the filmmakers were lucky enough to capture you know to be around at certain moments to capture footage of this man and you know there's no sex there's no drug use in the um the story anyone can watch it the entire family um but it shook me to my core it really, really did. You know, I, I was texting with a, a, a girlfriend of mine earlier this morning, and we were talking about some of our antics when we were teenagers and, and running around and stealing at the mall and um, just living what we thought of as dangerously. And then I watched this documentary, and, you know, it, it really shook me to my core to actually have witnessed a man living on the edge, uh, literally. And when you see what happens at the end of this documentary, wow, that's all I can say. Wow, wow, wow. So have you guys watched The Alpinist on Netflix, the, the documentary of the mountain climber? If you have, please leave your thoughts about it in the, the comments. Um, you know, it, it really changed changed me, you know, in a way. Um, give it a watch if you have not. And, you know, come back and let's, you know, gather your thoughts, gather yourself. I was um, lost my breath so, so many times. I cried throughout this documentary. And it, um, you know, it just changed my perspective. I went into it thinking these are, these are Neanderthals and I'll never relate or understand these folks and then you leave the documentary feeling like you truly understand what it means to live for the first time anyways guys share your thoughts below that's the end of this review give this video a like if you will a comment and please consider subscribing to my channel for more movie and tv related content i'll see you guys soon